The polymer adhesives have now had in excess of 40 minutes. So we are going to repeat the same experiment as we've done with the PU and actually try pulling them apart. Obviously, this is quite a short time. Most of them recommend a much longer curing time. But what we're looking at is a product that you can bond the two surfaces together and it will hold things in place without any need of mechanical fixings um, as long as it's not a critical load application. We've got the grip fill at one end, which is kind of traditional panel adhesive, well known, right through to the CT1. So first we're going to do the grip fill and see what we end up with. Starting at zero and we'll start winding up. So we're at 10. Okay, at 10 kilos, the grip fill gave up, as you can see, it's just lifted up. You can see it has sort of kind of bonded all together. Next, we're going to do stuck it. So this is the first of the, this is the first of the polymer adhesives. So 10, 20, 1.7. So this product has only been curing, as we say, for about 40 minutes and we're now up to, there's no mechanical fixings, no clamping was required. We're now up to over 200 kg and still going. Something's going to go bang. Okay. There we are. The ply delaminated before the product gave way. So that had, as I say, had no more than about 40, 45 minutes. The ply has broken. The glue is, despite soft, still on the outside and has set off solid on the inside. So we will now try fix all. Again, see how we get on. As I say, 40 minutes. Oh, that went quick. The fix all went at just over 10 kg. Um, and the joint pulled apart. Um, I'll just take that apart so you can see. So that has come apart. So next we'll try sticks like. Okay, we're at 70. Oh, and that hit 70 before pulling apart. So, let's have a little look. And as you can see, kind of pulled apart. Still tacky to touch. Final one, CT1. Point two. Point 0.5, oh, uh, we got to about 0.5 before that broke apart. As you can see, that one did slightly start to delaminate the uh, ply as well, but it clearly was the glue bond that broke first. You might ask, how fair is the test? Well, it's not hugely scientific, but we did try and keep everything fair. The pieces of wood are all out the same sheet. They're all ply. They're all cut to 120 um, mil square. We've done it in the same room with the same temperature. They've all had the same time. We used exactly the same method and apparatus to pull each one. So I'll let you judge. So our grip fill, which we know is not exactly a like for like comparison, but it is a product that people use for bonding stuff together. In the time frame that we used, 10 kilos right up to 300. No mechanical fixings, no clamping required. Obviously it was on a horizontal plane, not a vertical plane, but it just shows what can be achieved with modern adhesives without using fasteners.